And I think the last thing that I would say about the vast majority is that you're liars. I think that there's been a theme on social media lately as vulnerability and authenticity and transparency has become more real, which is a good thing for social media specifically. But there are some people that are taking it to an extreme and are sharing everything mm -hmm. and are almost exaggerating the struggles mm -hmm. for the sake of, I'm the most transparent, I'm the most vulnerable, look at what I shared about. And that is oversharing. But I think the question and really the answer boils down to what is the truth? Like being authentic means being authentic, like means being real. It's sharing what you're actually going through. And I don't know if anybody's going through too much. So withholding the truth is the exact same thing as lying. And chances are when you walked in here today, you probably walked up to someone and you said, hey man, how are you? Or, or hey, how are you? And they said, great, how are you? Great. And you lied. You're not great. You've got struggles that you're going through. You've got things that are, that are painful in your life right now. But we put on this air about ourselves. We put on this fake facade like everything's awesome when it's not. If you're oversharing then it, and it's from an authentic place, it's not oversharing. Like, it's what you're going through. But there's a big difference between sharing and complaining. Yep. There's a big difference between sharing and whining. There's a big difference between sharing and dwelling. Like sharing, getting it off your chest, but then like saying, okay, I've shared this, now let's come up with a solution is one thing. But the oversharing probably comes, and this question probably comes from someone who's been interacting with a person that every time they see that person, all they do is share all the stuff that they're going through. And all they do is share the struggles. But there's a congruent message through that, that this person, all they do is share. Really, all they do is whine and complain, but they're not doing anything about it. If you come to that realization, here's what you have to do immediately. You have to just stop the negativity. You're never going to get a better job if all you do is keep talking about how bad your job is. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. You're never going to get in a better relationship with your spouse if you keep talking about how bad your relationship with your spouse is. It's never going to happen. It's just the law of attraction. What people learn, especially when it comes to like things like law of attraction, things like that, yeah. um, is to completely tone out that negativity, yeah. which is interesting. And, and when you talk about that, that is a symptom of a deeper belief system that isn't true. So it's basically tracing, okay, I I'm feeling something negative. Something, I mean, something negative is happening. Let me trace that all the way back to to where the root is and figure out why do I see that as a negative or why do I um, process it or internalize it in a negative way mm -hmm. and then try to figure that out. So at some point, like it's, you know, it's tough love, but at some point you have to be that person that says, hey, hey man, hey, you know, every time we've met over the last month, you've been talking about this thing. And I mean, I understand, like, it's painful what you're going through, but what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Like, what are you doing to get past it other than just sharing it with everybody? And that's where I think oversharing comes in is that all you're doing is sharing it, you're not solving it. And so at some point, like, you, you do not solve your problems by sharing them, period. You solve your problems by doing something to actually come to an answer, to come to a solution, to overcome that struggle.